Hey YouTube, this is a video request by Wootad. Um, it's how to install a custom ROM on your rooted Thunderbolt for the first time. Okay, there's a couple steps you have to do um, if it's the first time that you're doing it. Alright, so your first step is you're going to go to the market and you're going to download something called ROM Manager. Search for ROM Manager. Okay. You're going to download it. There's a free one and there's a paid one. I don't know the difference between the two. I've just used the free one. So, I guess if you want, you can download the paid one, but free one gets the job done. Okay, so you're going to let this download. Okay, and I've already downloaded it, installed it, and done what I need to do. I'm just showing you. So, you're going to go into ROM Manager. It's gonna, you're going to hit OK. Uh, just skip out of this. All right. Now, like I said, if this is your first custom ROM that you're installing after rooting your phone, you're going to have to do this up here. It says Flash Clockwork, clockwork Mod Recovery. You're going to have to do that. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, but click that and just go through the steps and follow the directions and just do what it says. Um, Basically, what that's going to allow you to do is, once you've done that, you can boot into recovery mode, which you need to be able to do to install a custom ROM. And you can do it from this application. See where it says reboot into recovery here. Um, okay, so now that you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to hook your phone up to your computer. And let's see if this reaches. So, hook your phone up to your computer. I already have a ROM on here. That's different looking. Yours isn't going to look the same, but you're going to choose disk drive. It's going to be a list. It's not going to be like this, but it's going to be a list of them. Uh, oops, I didn't do it quick enough. All right, it just goes automatically to charge only, but you're going to hit disk drive. Okay. And hit done. Like I said, it's not going to look the same because uh, that's custom for the ROM that I'm using. But, anyways. Okay, so now while that's going, just let that be. Your computer is going to do this. Just make sure I get a good view of the screen. Okay, so this is going to pop up. It's going to say, like, what do you want to do with it? So hit open folder to view files. Okay, now just minus that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go, and if you haven't done this already, you're going to download whatever ROM it is that you want. Um, I highly recommend the Dash Bamp Forever ROM. That's the one I'm using, and it's amazing. Um, I have a link to the download for that. And also, if you're going to be downloading a gingerbread ROM, which I don't see why you wouldn't, um, you're going to have to download a gingerbread radio, because right now the Thunderbolt uh, has a Froyo radio, and if you don't understand what that means, it's okay, but you got to make sure you download the... ROM and the radio. And I already have that downloaded. Let's see. Thunderbolt. Okay. The radio is going to look like this. It says PG05IMG. And the ROM is going to look something like this. Okay. So once you have them downloaded, you're going to, oops, you're going to select them. And it'll be from your download file folder, wherever that is. And you're going to drag them onto your phone and just put them right in here. Don't put them into a folder, just put them right onto your phone, right onto the root of the SD card. I'm not going to do this, I've already done that, okay? So if you scroll down, I can you can see that I already have this. And once you flash the radio onto your phone, then you're going to delete it off. Um, I'll show you that in a little bit, but that's why mine's not on here. Alright, so now that you've done that, you're going to go back to your phone, and this is just a good idea to do um, before you unplug it every time. Um, make sure that all the files have completely transferred onto your phone and it says that it's done. And then you're going to go and click disk drive and you're going to click charge only and hit done. So basically it's just going to unmount it from the computer. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, and I'll say preparing zip. It should. Maybe I missed that. All right. So as long as it's charging only, 
then it's good. Okay, then you're going to unplug that. So now you have... Just adjust my camera. Alright, now you have the ROM that you want downloaded and you have the zip, uh, or and you have the radio, okay? So, you got to boot it into recovery mode. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to ROM manager. And you're going to hit reboot into recovery. And that's only going to work if you've already done the flash clockwork mod recovery. So make sure you do that first, and then reboot it into recovery. Are you sure you want to? Say OK. And it's going to ask for writes um, to the root. So hit allow. All right, now it's going to do its thing. Let's give it a second. While we're waiting, I'll use this time to say, please check out my blog at www.everythingandroidnow.blogspot.com for other how-to videos, um, tips and tricks, reviews. I do a lot of um, you know requests of videos like this one for people. So if you have a video request, if you don't know how to do something, then go ahead and ask me and I'll most likely make you a video. All right, so your phone's going to boot up into this. It might be different colors, but it's going to look somewhat, something like this. Uh, doubt you can read what this all says. Okay, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to go down and hit wipe data factory reset. And the way you navigate on here is volume up and down is how you change and enter is the power button. So you're going to wipe the data. I'm not going to do that because I'm not installing a new one right now. Let that do its thing and then eventually it'll come back to the screen and it'll be done. Then wipe cache, click power button. Once that's done, go down to advanced, click the power button to go into it and go to wipe Dalvik cache and click it and do it at least five times and it seems over the top but if you don't want to have any issues with random reboots of your phone or uh, forced closes of applications you're gonna make sure you want to do that at least five times okay then once that's done five times you're gonna go back and hit power and you're gonna go to mounts and storage click power and you're gonna go down to format cache and I, I realize you can't read this it's bad webcam but if you're following along on your phone, you'll know what I'm doing. Okay, so hit format cache. It'll go really quick. Once that's done, go back down to go back. And then you're going to go down to install zip from SD card. Click power. And then go to choose zip. Click power. Then you're going to scroll up. Um, it automatically starts at the top of the list, so if you hit the up arrow, it goes to the very bottom, and there you will see I have BAMP Forever 1.0.6.zip. That's the ROM that I installed. It's still on here. So you'll see whatever ROMs you have downloaded it will be right there. So choose the one you want and hit power, and it'll say, Do you want to install? Scroll and hit yes. Let it do its thing. It takes, I don't know two or three minutes, four or five minutes, it all depends on how, you know, depends on the ROM itself. Okay, so let it do its thing. Now this is the most important key, especially if this is your first ROM that you're doing, or if you're doing a gingerbread ROM, and you didn't have a gingerbread ROM before. So don't reboot the phone. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the back cover off your phone, and take the battery out, okay? Now put the back the battery back in, put your cover back on. And the radio that I told you to download um, will be is on your phone and it's labeled PG05 IMG. I don't have that on mine, but I'm just gonna show you what you're gonna do. You're gonna hold the down arrow or the down volume and the power at the same time, and that's gonna boot it into H boot, which might be not make might not make any sense for you. But I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the H boot menu, okay? Now it's checking for what it just did there was is checking for the PG05 IMG file. And I don't have one on here, so it didn't do anything. But you guys will have one on here. And so it'll you know it'll find it and it'll say, Do you want to start update? Press volume up to start. 
So you'll hit volume up and start, and you'll see a little progress bar uh, up here, and it'll do a bunch of stuff, and it'll take a few minutes to do. Eventually, it'll say update complete, uh, press power to reboot, okay? And once you've done that, um, it'll reboot the phone, and you're going to make sure you, once your phone is all loaded up and, you know, um, gingerbread is all running and everything, um, make sure that at some point you plug your phone back into your computer and go back into disk drive and go on your computer and find the PG05IMG on your phone and delete it because you don't want that on your phone anymore because in case for some reason you need to get it into recovery mode and do stuff um, you can always just again hold the power down and the uh, the down volume at the same time and you can get it back into this menu and you can do a lot of stuff on here but if you forgot to delete that file and you still have it on there you won't be able to do anything you won't be able to get it into recovery you won't be able to do a factory reset you won't be able to do anything because it'll just try to do the the update for the PG05 IMG file. So make sure you delete it off. Okay, That's the important things. Um, I highly recommend before you do this that you use Titanium Backup and back up any apps and everything that you want. I have a video that I'll post right here um, to how to use Titanium Backup and also um, so yeah, do the titanium backup. I recommend you don't have to, but the important things are to make sure that you flash clockwork mod recovery and make sure that you flash your radio and make sure you delete it afterwards. So yeah, any questions, uh, ask me and I'll be happy to answer them. Also, please check out my blog at www.android everything android now blogspot.com I'll put a link in the description and also if this video is helpful to you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe all right thanks